It's been a $29 million investment and three years of construction, and now this substation is ready to energize the Peace Region for the next 20 years. And as energy demands in the North Peace Region are expected to increase by around 2% each year, the completion of the substation is a welcome sign for industry growth. The Peace Region is the fastest growing region in the province when it comes to electricity load, so we are definitely working to make sure that we meet that load as it comes along. You know, the oil and gas industry continues to move along. Yeah, there are cycles and there are upticks and downturns, definitely, but um, overall things are continuing to grow. Yeah, this is a growing part of the province. The substation was first built here in the early 1970s and we were at capacity. So this will double the capacity of the substation and allow us to serve a community twice the size of Port St. John. Community officials and the media were invited to tour the newly finished facility that includes a long list of upgrades, including a new transformer, new control panels, and a new gas circuit breaker to replace the 50-year-old oil-filled circuit breaker. BC Hydro is looking to be proactive in uh, keeping the lights on, is what we like to say. And, and that, what that means is always thinking ahead, where is growth happening? And how do we plan for that and then build the equipment so it's ready to go as, as the load comes on. Substations play an important role in the electrical system. They receive high voltage power from transmission lines and transform that power into lower voltage so we can use it in our homes and businesses. A handful of local companies were involved in the construction process and dozens of jobs were created over the three-year construction phase. There was a lot of effort. Probably stage two of the project was where we had the most amount of resources here on site. That's where we did kind of fluctuate up above uh, the average 40 person. We were up here to about 50, 60 on some days, um, actually for, for some extended periods of time. Um, we did a very big push the summer of 2015 to complete our control building expansion and then also complete our new transformer pad and then bring that transformer in and actually land it here on site. BC Hydro said the project was completed on schedule and on budget. Quite proud of the work that our construction crews did and quite proud of this project and helping out the St. Joe um, infrastructure and uh, keeping the lights on here. Brendan Miller, CJDC TV News, Fort St. John.